Hello my beautiful viewers, how are you guys and girls doing? I hope well. Today I want to discuss with you weight, weight loss, yes, weight loss. So uh, I can only speak from my journey and my perspective and my experience. I have pursued weight loss uh, since eight, nine years and um, I have failed miserably in my journey of achieving that goal. Why? Because this is what I know now. I realize today that I've been looking at it completely the wrong way. Why? Because first of all, we shouldn't be pursuing weight loss. What, weight loss or fat loss. Why? Because that's a symptom. That's a, uh, it's, it's not the root. If, if, if a human being is healthy, your weight should be perfect for you, for what your body needs to have right now, which a chart and a scale cannot dictate because we're all different. Some women, some guys weigh more than others. Some of us have thicker bones. Some of us have thicker skin. Some of us have bigger organs. So how could you grab an entire being and put it in a chart and tell because your height is this you need to weigh this i personally weigh a lot more than most women my height i'm five one if i weigh 115 i was weighing 115 i look very skinny and i know people i have family members uh, females that are like five, eight, five, nine, and they weigh one fifteen, and they look—they don't look skinny. They look like they need to lose weight because they have zero muscle and their bones are very thin. So, how? It, there's no way you can follow the charts. Um, that's from one aspect. Second aspect is that if you're pursuing weight loss or fat loss, you're not pursuing the right thing because you're gonna compromise health. If you're pursuing health, then weight loss will come, good skin will come, good energy, good mood, good hair. All these things are going to come together. So which one do you want, really? Do you want to lose weight or do you want to gain health and balance? I think it's obvious, right? We all want to be healthier, live longer uh, and uh, achieve well-being, you know, on a daily basis which brings us happiness, fulfillment, joy, the ability to go through a day without pain, without stress, that's health. And that should be your goal. Do not be fooled by our society's, um, you know, what, what society is pursuing right now. Everything is about lose weight, lose weight, 10 days, 10 pounds, 10 days. I've done all that, and I'm sure you did too. What happened after? You got sick, or you gained it all back, or you got stretch marks, or you got saggy skin. And saggy skin and stretch marks are big hints that you're not doing it right. Because if you're losing weight and, and fat the right way, the healthy way, slowly, you shouldn't be having saggy skin and stretch marks. It, your, you need to, it, your skin will be allowed enough time to adjust itself and have the elasticity that it needs. So please don't be fooled by what's going on out there because what, what's happening is that our youth, everyone is pursuing this, this goal that's completely not what you need to be pursuing. You, you need to be pursuing health first. And what is health? Very simple. Health is sleeping well, eating well, being full, feeling full, not hungry constantly, having a mind that's quiet and serene, not hectic and, and, and not being able to think straight, uh, no stress, no mood swings, uh, good skin, good, uh, good hair, you know, uh, th these are important things that you do not achieve by losing weight. In fact, a lot of people have ideal weight, ideal body fat, but they're farther much farther from health than an obese person that eats well and nourishes themselves and they sleep well. 
the obese person maybe they're overeating or maybe they're not eating the right foods and they don't have the knowledge but maybe they're doing the other things right and the thin person might not be sleeping well might not be nourishing themselves well might be uh, cutting down their calories and forcing their body into a, a, a state that's not normal so please think about um, gaining health instead of losing weight or losing fat all this Hollywood thing that's going on out there image doesn't mean health looking good looking looks and health have nothing to do with one another there are people that are very thick boned and weigh a lot and their their BMI is off the charts it's considered obese and they're in good health and they're gonna live long and they're gonna you know be healthy and uh, have no problems and there are people that are skinny and they're eight percent body fat and ten percent body fat and they're not gonna have a good health you know so really what what do you want to choose do you want to choose longevity a longevity and well-being stress-free life good sleep good skin good health uh, good mood uh, and things like that or do you want to choose a skinny body that looks pretty for a little bit because eventually the health will crumble that's my message and I hope it serves um, you or anyone that you know please forward this message to anybody especially young women and young boys you know um, teenagers that are trying to restrict their food and trying to do things that are crazy to get to to look a certain way we need to eradicate this image from our society this way of thinking because I personally started seeing a huge change in my body when I started seeking health instead of looks you know I, a long time ago I wanted to look pretty I wanted to look thin now I don't care anymore I just want to be healthy because I know my life is still I have like 40 50 years ahead of me or more God knows but I seek to look good long term I don't want to be skinny right now and then destroy parts of my body that I cannot repair later on. Thank you guys for watching. I hope my message was clear. Sometimes I don't <laughs> get the words straight, but I think you got my message. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and forward this message to anyone that you know. Take care. Bye. Subscribe to my channel as well. Bye.